so I recently got the iPad Air M3 and I'm not quite using it as much as I want to and it is still looking like this. I haven't customized anything on this iPad. It's looking like it just came from the store. So today I thought we could customize this iPad. I'm going to show you a few different ideas on how you can customize your iPad. So before we start, I just want to show you my case. I do think having a cute case and Apple Pencil is the first step to customizing your iPad. So I currently have this one from ESR. I love it. I love the color. It's like a cream white color. It makes a stand so it has like a magnetic area here where you can tilt the iPad. In. And then it also has a little section here for the Apple Pencil but I currently have ESR Digital Stylus Pen. This is a much more affordable alternative to the Apple Pencil. And also it's pink so it's super cute. So yeah, very simple, minimalistic. I think this is actually the theme we're gonna go for, cream colors. This is the Starlight iPad Air M3. So it is a really pretty, like very light golden. Honestly, I think it looks more silver than Starlight. It's super pretty. I love this iPad so much. I really need to start using it more. So let's start customizing. We're gonna be dividing this video into three parts. First, how to create our own custom wallpaper, and how to do a productivity setup, and then where to find aesthetic widgets. There are obviously so many different wallpaper combinations, but the first one we're gonna do is an emoji wallpaper. You just go to your lock screen and press create new wallpaper, and then you can see you have a little emoji option. This is actually really useful and you can be real creative with it. It's gonna automatically customize an emoji wallpaper for you and all you have to do is pick an emoji. So for example, you can choose your favorite emojis. I love the cloud emoji. And then you can also customize the color. And then you just swipe to customize the pattern. So it automatically generates a bunch of different patterns with this emoji. So I also tried it with the bow emoji. This is super cute for a pink vibe. And then I created one for a more summery theme with the seashell and coconut. So obviously you can do multiple emojis for different combinations. I think this is a really fun and creative way to customize your wallpaper. I think this turned out is so cute. These are probably my most used emojis for summer. I mean, obviously you can create so many different combinations with this and it's so low effort. You don't need any like external app. And then this is another one I made. It's super cute, also really summery. So if you love using emojis, you are probably gonna love this. Now I'm gonna show you how to create these aesthetic wallpapers that you've probably seen on Pinterest. They're called Aura wallpapers. So you can pretty much use any painting app so all you do is fill your background with any color and then for the gradient you're I chose the airbrush but you can choose any brush with this kind of blur and then you need to make the brush really big and also choose a darker or lighter color than your background and it's gonna create this really cool like gradient effect and yeah this is the result you just set it as your wallpaper as usual and then I'm also gonna customize the font I want to make it a bit thinner and yeah this is the result super cute also if you want to adjust it you obviously can you just zoom in like this on your lock screen i'm gonna show you another one i made i wanted to also go for a pink theme so i just painted a pink heart and this one turned out so cute you can really customize your wallpaper in any way with this hack but if you don't want to make your own i'll also link some pre-made ones i couldn't actually choose which one of these wallpapers i wanted to go with so that takes us to the next wallpaper hack which is a double wallpaper paper so you basically just go into any editing app i'm using photo room i'm just using the blank canvas portrait mode and then i'm gonna import both of these wallpapers also if you're using photo room make sure to choose no cutout but you're gonna put one of these photos on top of the portrait and then the other one at the bottom and then you're just gonna save it to your camera roll as usual and go to create a new wallpaper. You're gonna zoom in so you can only see one in landscape mode and then you're gonna tilt your iPad to portrait mode and now it's also gonna show both of the wallpapers but you're gonna zoom in again where you can only see the other wallpaper. So now in landscape mode, you can only see one wallpaper and when you tilt the iPad to portrait mode, you can see the other wallpaper, which I think is really cool. It's really fun if you want to have different color wallpapers. 
I think I'm definitely gonna go with this wallpaper. I honestly couldn't decide which one I wanted to go with because I also love this heart. I also love the pink vibe. But yeah, so this is really good. When we turn the iPad, we have the heart. And then when we turn it back to landscape mode, we have a more neutral wallpaper. To help me customize my iPad, I asked my AI Pi Lite for some help. If you've never seen this before, it is a little voice assistant that you can bring with you everywhere because it's so small. This has helped me so much in my life. Every time I have a question, I can just ask this little device. But this is not your typical voice assistant because you can customize it with a bunch of different voices and your own inputs so you can build the AI agent from scratch. And because this has a magnetic surface, you can attach it to a bunch of different objects in your home, like in your kitchen, on a lamp, or even on my iPad. I used to spend so much time searching up questions when I was making dinner, but now I can just ask my AI Pilot. Can you help me decide what to make for dinner? Do you have any dietary preferences or restrictions? So I'm in the mood for something vegetarian, some comfort food, maybe Italian. Eggplant parmesan, carrots in a light garlic and olive oil sauce. Should I use olive oil or sunflower oil? Olive oil is the best choice. Something I think is very useful is if you're having trouble falling asleep or have children who have trouble falling asleep, you can actually stick this into a plushie. Like for example, this Build-A-Bear. Can you tell me a bedtime story? There was a tiny village where everyone's dreams were guarded by the dream keeper and gentle. It literally feels like I have a talking teddy bear. You can talk back to it and it actually understands what you're saying. And what's even more cool is I can record my voice so this teddy bear can talk back in my voice, which is so cool if you are traveling and you have a dog so your pet sitter can show the plush toy to your dog and they will hear your voice which could make them more calm and one of my favorite features is it has a dual memory setup it can remember things like your favorite coffee order or your pet's name can you tell me my dog's name your dog's name is molly she's a two-year-old black multi who knows some fun tricks like sit spin molly can you spin kiss thank you kiss she sounds absolutely adorable <laughs> Can you tell me something I can teach Molly? Since Molly already knows some impressive tricks like sit, spin, kiss, she's clearly a smart pup. Molly. Very smart pup. High five. Hold a treat in your hand and show it to Molly. High five. Say high five and gently high five. she lifts her pull and her with the treat and brings. High five. Gradually raising your yeah. employer as she gets the idea. This is giving me step-by-step -step instructions on how to train Molly. It is so useful for pet owners. Honestly, it's such a cool little gadget. I've never seen anything like it. So if you also want to check it out, I'll link it in the description. Okay, so this is already looking real good. It's pretty minimalistic. I am going to add some widgets. But first, before I go into all the widget apps, I am going to show you how I'm making my iPad. I'm just optimized for productivity. The most important thing is that I can stay productive on it. So yeah, let me show you my product activity setup for this iPad. Now we're gonna be customizing our folders. So the first thing I like to do is customizing the folder font. This is a really old hack. I used to do this with my iPhone all the time but it really makes such a huge difference in making your iPad look more aesthetic, just customized to your style. All you're gonna do is go to Safari and search up aesthetic fonts and go to any of these websites. I have to type the name of our folder, so my folder is gonna be named Utilities. So I picked up this one that is very minimalistic but a little bit tilted and then we're just gonna copy and paste. This is super simple and we're gonna do this with all the folders. This part is really fun, customizing the layout of our apps and folders. Since the new iOS updates, I mean, this has been around for a while, but I love it. We can now place the folders in any part of, of our home screen, so we can really play around and be creative. I like to put mine like in the middle of my iPad. I think one of the most important widgets for a productivity setup is a task list that basically shows your to-do list for the day. I like to keep my to-do list in Notion. For my iPad, I actually wanted to try out this app called Structured. I have been using this one before for my iPhone. I think it works really well. With this app, you need to choose a time when you're going to do your task. And I feel like that actually increases the chances of getting the task done. And then we're going to go press the plus button on our home screen to create a new widget and we're gonna choose the structured app and then we can choose any size here so I'm gonna do the timeline I feel like this gives a real good overview to your day 
And the next productivity widget I'm gonna add is a battery widget. I never really keep track of my battery percentage unless I have this widget. I'm choosing the status widget with four boxes so I can keep track of my iPad, my Apple Pencil, and my earbuds at the same time. Next, I'm adding a ChatGPT widget just because I'm using ChatGPT a lot whenever I have a question or if I'm studying. So this also works as a shortcut because when you press it, you're gonna go straight into ChatGPT. The next widget I'm gonna add is a calendar widget. I feel like this is also a must have and for my calendar widget, I'm gonna use Widgetsmith and I'm just creating a medium widget. You can also create a small or a large and then you can customize the theme. So you can choose like the color. I also love the gradient looks like the rose gold or white gold. I think I'm actually gonna go with the white gold. So then we're gonna add it to our home screen and this is the final look. It's starting to look really good. For our next widget, it's gonna be a Gmail widget. I wanna have easy access to write an email. And now I'm gonna show you guys something very cool. If you take something away from this video, it should be this, creating a focus mode widget. I have already created a bunch of focus modes and we're gonna go to customize screens. We're gonna choose a lock screen. So this is gonna be a specific lock screen that only shows up when you're in this specific focus mode. I'm gonna choose a wallpaper that just really motivates me to keep studying. So I picked out this one. It's just a reminder to study. And if you want to set a separate home screen wallpaper, you just press a photo here and choose another photo. So I decided to do this one. I feel like it kind of works as a vision board. The next step is going to be choosing a home screen page. You are basically going to customize a full page on your iPad that it's automatically going to be directed to when you turn the study focus mode on. For my page, I just chose a bunch of study apps and study widgets that I think are really useful when studying. And most importantly, obviously no social media, no apps or widgets that can distract me when studying. Now comes the little tricky part, but this is not hard at all. So just go into the shortcut app and now we're gonna create a folder called focus. Once you're in the folder, press the little plus button and then we're gonna search for focus and you're gonna see an option called set focus so we're gonna press this and then choose the focus mode we want to set it so I'm gonna choose the study focus mode and then just press the off until it shows on until turned off and then I'm just gonna name this shortcut to study so I know which one it is I'm also gonna choose an icon and customize the color so it looks a little bit more aesthetic and then I'm just repeating this for all of my focus modes and then on our home screen we're gonna choose a shortcut widget and here's where you choose the folder this is why you need to create a folder so I'm gonna choose my focus folder and then all of my focus modes are gonna show up here on my home screen now if I press one of these like the study focus mode it's automatically gonna switch the page to my study focus mode page yeah this is now my study page no distractions and then for example if I switch to self-care I also created a little self self-care page and also a custom lock screen for my self-care. I think this is so smart because now it's gonna be so much easier to focus. But now comes the really fun part. We're gonna add some aesthetic widgets. So the first one is pretty obvious. We cannot customize our iPad without adding some aesthetic Pinterest pictures. So I'm just going on Pinterest finding a bunch of pictures within the same theme. And then we're gonna go to Widgetsmith and add some large, medium, and small widgets. We can also adjust the position here. This is such a good way to add some personality to your iPad. Obviously, you can switch out these pictures for different seasons and adding all of those to my home screen. And this is the result. I don't think you can add too many pictures to your home screen, specifically adding a bunch of different sizes, like some large, medium, and small widgets. Really create that aesthetic look. Another widget I'm gonna add is from the I Am app. This is a daily affirmation widget. And not only does it look really aesthetic, but it also has a really important and emotional meaning because it gives you affirmations and motivation every day. If you wanna customize the theme, press the widget and go into the app. And then under theme, choose a different color or a different picture. Okay, so next we're gonna add a reminders list. So I'm just gonna create a new reminders list. For my list, I'm gonna do 
self reminders and I'm also gonna set it to a color that matches my wallpaper and then choose a cute icon so I just did the heart. I'm just writing down a bunch of things I want to remember each day. I would really recommend adding some cute emojis and then we create a widget as usual and choose our self reminders list. It already looks so good. This goes so well with the theme. I think especially with the pink color I added and then the emojis are matching the pictures. Now this is one of my favorite widgets ever. It's this aesthetic clock widget and all you need for this one is download the flip clock app. I'm just gonna go with the classic white smaller widget. So this is now gonna display the time a little bit more clearly than the iPad already does. What I really like about this app is you can also use it as a kind of a screensaver or a Pomodoro timer when you're studying. So you just go into the app if you press the widget and then it's gonna display the time like this. So you can also customize it and make it white. Really, really useful to have as a screensaver if you're cleaning or studying. This is one of my favorite apps to find aesthetic widgets. It's called Ice Cream. I'm gonna do the flip album. So I'm just choosing again all of the pictures I downloaded from Pinterest, adding that to an empty page. And then I'm also gonna add a mood calendar. You're supposed to choose what mood you're in. So you pick one of these emojis that represent your mood of the day. And then you tell your like average mood for the mom. And it's gonna add this little emoji to a jar that you can then display as a widget on your home screen actually reflect over your mood. Let's find some more aesthetic widgets here. I think this one's really fun adding a gen emoji just because this is something new to iPad. Now you can create your own emojis basically. You can add this emoji to your home screen like I tried seashells and it's gonna generate a bunch of seashell emojis for me. So I decided to go with this white one that's gonna match my theme. To make it even more aesthetic I'm gonna remove the backgrounds from the widgets and make them transparent. You can just follow the instructions in the app. For the last one, I'm gonna choose this graphic clock and again I'm doing a transparent background. I think this is such a cute first page of the iPad. So when you open up the iPad in the morning, you're gonna see the time, the day, and then some cute photos and today's mood. And by the way, to organize your pages, you just go to edit pages in the top left corner and then you can drag the pages to whatever order you want them to come in. Alright guys, I'm so happy with how my iPad is looking right now. It's looking so much better. Honestly, this makes me a lot more motivated to start using it. I just feel like it's so much easier to navigate, but I'm gonna continue setting my iPad up and download a bunch of good apps that I will be trying out for the next couple of weeks and then I will be making a full what's on my iPad and go more in depth into all the apps. I will be linking my Pinterest with all the wallpapers and pictures I used for the widgets. I also have a Pinterest board with some iPad home screen inspo that I will also link in case you need some inspiration. Thank you so much for watching.